Hey folks, it's Bishop Heels. How you guys doing? Well, I'm here today <coughs> because I have gotten some emails um, regarding towards the Ayati. Um, and being that this is my second week with the same coils, I needed to clean it out. And the question was, how do you clean up the ceramic? Quite simple. Um, I'm going to show you mine. Um, I just took mine apart. Uh, just to show you what I'm going to do, let me zoom that in for you. There you go. See, it's all grimy. Okay. Now, that affects as well as the, the quality of the juice, okay, as far as when you're vaping on it. Okay. So, you really want to clean that out. So, the way I'm going to clean it out, um, it's going to be quite simple. Uh, what you want to do is first remove it from the base. So you just jiggle it. There's two O-rings in there, okay? So you just want to jiggle it left and right like so, okay? And just pull it out. Now, one O-ring came out, and the other O-ring is inside. So let's just put the base down. Let's remove the O-ring, okay? And let's remove the other O-ring. I use like a micro flat screwdriver very gently, see, I pull it out, okay? So put it on a napkin, and what I'm going to do is call my torchy bunny over here, get a pair of pliers, okay? What you want to do is you just want to press down gently at the end of the base of the CE2 cup, okay? You hold it with the pliers, not hot, not hard, because you may crack it, okay? So you just want to hold it, all right? Get your torch ready. And, of course, I already applied hot water on there. It just doesn't remove it. With the torch, you're going to see how quickly, how quickly this thing is going to be sizzling and bubbling. And it's going to be very white and clean. Just do this for a couple, about 30 seconds or so, roughly. And this is going to turn orange or red. The CE2, that's okay. It's doing its job. Then torch it from the inside a little. Just like that. Guess what? We're done. So now you can look at it. Let me zoom it in for you. See? All white. All clean. Okay? Only thing is you want to give yourself, give it about a couple of minutes before you touch it. Unless you're going to quench it in cold, in water. But I'm not going to quench it. I'm just going to let it air cool okay within room temperature it's still hot again you don't want to press the pliers too hard because it may crack it okay this is why a lot of guys they buy a lot of extras because either um, they press down on the pliers too hard to torch it or they don't even torch it and they just toss it out, they replace it. There's no need. It's still good, okay? You can just torch it, just let it air cool. I find that if you quench it right away, it may turn brittle, too brittle. I mean, it's going to get brittle, okay? So, um, I mean, once you do this, you only have to do this like when you see it that's dark and black. And being that I didn't clean it for two weeks, and I've used like three different juices already, so it kind of, you know, it started tasting funny, and it's time to replace the coils and wick, and um, it was already black, so it needed to be uh, cleaned out. So, just touching it, it's getting cooler, it's getting cooler. So we're going to wait for this thing gets cooled off, and I'm just going to build it real quick. I'll be back. Okay, so back. 
I'm about to mount the first coil on here. And these are going to be my dual Highlanders. First one is on, as you can see. Um, putting in the second. Now, I put three pieces of 1.5 wick on here. Every time when I put three pieces of 1.5 or two pieces of 1.5, I never have a leakage problem. Never. Doesn't flood. Works like a charm, just like a champ. And as you can see, what I do is I grab the two end points and I pull down. So as you can see, I got two wicks on each side right now. Here's the second coil, which I'm going to be mounting on right now. Okay? And it's the same way. I put it right on top. And when I put it on top, what I do is I line it up first. Key thing to keep in mind is these junction points. If you can't keep those junction points very tiny, then you're going to have to invest and buy pre-made wires from Vasili's or Bruce from COV. They do carry 1.2 ohms each, 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 uh, 1.2, 1.5, and there's a third one. I can't recall. I don't really don't go up that high, but uh, you can use, I think it's 1.8s. Um, you can use two 1.2s. That's what I use here. I mean, I make my own, but you can buy pre-made and you don't have to worry about it. So this is what you do. You press and hold. See in my left hand, I'm holding with my finger and I leave it there. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is, here's the O-rings. I'm going to apply the O-rings, being that I already took it out of the base. See what I'm doing? I'm putting it. I'm putting the O-rings on. That's one. Now I already added some Vaseline for some lubrication, so there's two. Okay. Now I get the base, and I insert it clockwise. Key word: clockwise. There we go. So clockwise, I turn it, and it's in. Now what I want to do is line up the uh, the side channels of the ceramic with the side channels of the base. And they're lined up. Okay. So now I can get to work. So now my my preference is always twisting these two wires. The ones that are going to act like the positives. So let me get my pair of pliers. And I mean you don't have to twist them but I kind of twist them. So, I twist, and that's about good enough. And what I do is, I line them up 360 right back up on the same side channel. Okay? That's what I do. Here, I'll zoom it in for you. Now, hopefully this will help you prevent any leakage you see the wires went 360 straight up to that side channel okay so now I'll get the other base apply it on and what I do is I screw it in tight and tight there we go so that's good now once that's done I can cut those wires So I will cut. All right, so that's the first part. The other side, line down the wires. And same thing, I like to twist. So take my pair of pliers. And I start twisting. Just like that. Okay. 
so now raise this up towards one of the channels and with the base screw it in and you want to screw this in tight okay very tight okay now what you can do is you can cut the excess wire So what it looks like. Okay. So now what we can do is we're going to cut the excess wick. Like so. Okay. And what you're going to do is, you're going to put them in the side channel. And when you put them in the side channel, you can do a couple of things. And with your nail, very gently, you apply some pressure. Okay? On each, excuse me, on each side channel. This is what's going to help for it not to flood. Okay? So, as you press, let me show you. So, what you want to do is, you want to squeeze this inside a little. Squeeze that end and that end, just a little bit together. Okay? So, as you have the wicks lined up, instead of cutting them, you really don't want to cut them. These are 1.5s. Alright? They'll fit fine. See what I'm doing with my nail? I'm just pushing it in. Okay? Same thing on the other side. You push it in like that okay and it'll look like this very very neat now next thing what you do is you take this thing the thimble and what you're gonna do is you just you're gonna go back and forth just one turn what I'm doing right now that's it let go it's set it's done it's done one turn back and forth, like three times, and that's it. You're done. This ain't coming off, and you have choose control open. Okay, and this is what it looks like. Okay, you see how much juice control is open? Okay, I only did one turn back and forth about three times. That's it. I'm done. But what we're going to do now is add the juice. Add some juice to it. So, get some juice, and use COVY4, 8 milligrams, and I put one drop up top, put one or two drops on the side, Put the thimble back on. You do the same thing. One or two turns back and forth. That's it. You're done. You leave it alone. Now you apply the tank. Like so. Ooh. Come on. Okay. Now it's nice and tidy. Now next would be juice. Add some juice. Okay. 
Okay. Next thing would be cap. The o ring is already on. And you put your mouthpiece on. Put it on your collector tank. Give it a bait. Hmm. Now I can taste the juice. After torching that ceramic, it does a difference from night and day. Mm. and the beauty of this is once you do that one turn remember that, that that's with three 1.5 m wicks okay um it works like a dream boat Now, that will definitely help you if you are experiencing any leakage coming down here. Um, as you can see, it's dry. And as you can see from the PVN, it's dry. There's no juice. Nothing. Nothing at all. Delicious. So hopefully that helped you out to improve on the taste uh, for the ceramics, okay? You can do the same thing on Odie and Penny. So if you have an Odysseus or a Penelope and it's already getting dark and, and black and gooey, hot water is not going to remove it, okay? Um, and that's porous. So get yourself a torchy torch, pair of pliers, and toast that grump out of there that's for sure so that, that that's my easy tip for the iati uh to improve on juice flow no leakage better taste remove that gunk it does help forget about it so with that i'm gonna let you guys go live hard and vape hard baby take care